Good morning, everybody, or evening or afternoon. We're picking up right where I left off in the last video. And this is the view of downtown LA and the Little Tokyo Arts District. Very shortly, we'll be crossing over the tracks of the Metro Echo Line. E as an echo. And before we know it, we'll be turning onto the platform where our train is waiting. And we'll take you alongside the Metrolink as well. In case you guys aren't aware, Metrolink is the um, commuter train system of Southern California. We all know this. And um, there's a couple Keolis vans over here as well. I'm assuming Keolis was taking a little sight tour because they could be bidding on operating portions of the Metrolink operation and maintenance concession. So it's going to get loud here and i um, guessing with that said, just enjoy this little clip. And this train had come from Paris, by the way. the train first off is the roomette now I actually wanted a seat on this train a seated accommodation but I was forced to upgrade to a room at the last minute was it worth the upgrade yes and no this is a roomette this is a twinette the twinette is basically much like a roomette but there's two sets of bunk beds there's one over here and one that spans almost the entire width of the car or I should say the carriage in this case no on Sweden this one whatsoever. Now let's have a look at some trains while we were that were departing while we were on board. That second train right there is the Southwest Chief train that came from Chicago earlier in the morning. And we are on board the Coast Starlight, which will take us north up the central coast. Let's take a tour of this train. This is the first car on there. It's a sleeper car and it has a bunch of incandescent lighting, which is, I'm a little grossed out by that. But there are some padlocks on some of the doors and I'm assuming these are crew dorms. As I mentioned in the last video, they took the transition sleepers out of service and I'm guessing they put the crew in the frontmost section of this carriage. So, um, that's pretty much the valid reason I have. Let's go into the next coach where we have another set of roomettes, which will then be followed by the en suites, which are over here. But I don't show you the en suite doors. And then uh, coming up next is going to be the dining and lounge cars. Let's give you a little more detail about that. And here's a little preview of the dining and lounge cars. More information about that later. I think I might get the dining car voice after this. I'm gonna have to admit it, I might get the dining car voice after this. Just letting you know. Now we're leaving Los Angeles. Now, these are just various Metrolinks that came from Paris and San Bernardino and Riverside and Lancaster, etc. Now the locomotive right here is called the Spirit. There are only 40 in existence, all built for Metrolink. With that said, let's get this trip started. Onward. In recent years, um, the dining cars have all been getting names. Many of them are named after either journalist or um, a famous TV show character. And ours was called the Lorelei Gilmore. And um, you'll see proof at the end of this video. And the lounge cars have other names after various explorers. And ours happen to be called the... Oh great, first meme of the day. How do you like that? But anyways, here is the lounge car. Um, many of them have been denamed. And we're headed through the San Gabriel Valley and we're getting close to Glendale. So here's a look at the lounge menu. If you want to read and pause that, you can. Otherwise, we will be moving on. There's tables in the very back of the car, and I'll give you a sneak peek at standard class 
which is called coach class on this service because it's supposed to look like an inner city coach. That, that's what they call inner city buses. And there's a business class on board, but I didn't see it. Um, that was the class I wanted, but um, originally. And it isn't long before we're headed through Glendale, and here's the Glendale station. It is a little shaky and bumpy, so I, my apologies. I'm just trying not to fall and trying to keep my life at this point. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to take a look here at this room. It's um on the well it's supposed to be a starlight sleeper, but we're going in the daylight. And when the daylight comes we'll have to go. Number five. First thing, this is the main light. I flip the switch again. We got a night light right now. Next up, there's a light in the, the toilet. There's some shower, there's some towels in here. Sorry, this thing glitched. Here's the, sh the shower light. I'm not demonstrating the toilet because that would have been disgusting. This door is lockable. To do that, it's very simple. You just push this back a little bit. Hook the groove into the, the nozzle over here. Assuming all is correct, it should be locked and ready to go. Just like that. You can also, for extra privacy, have a curtain. And now it's completely dark in here. I can't even see. Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, enough with the drama. Enough with the drama. Here's some more light. Oh! No, 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 no. I am not opening this here. There is a Walmart outside. And Walmart is super greedy because their trucks obstruct various opportunities to take beautiful, stunning photos. Oh, I think we passed it now. So we can open these back up. And we are in Burbank. Burbank is um, in San Fernando Valley. I've been here many times growing up and it's kind of more like a second home. Would love to come here one day. And oh, there's somebody um, at the door. So just I'm gonna go ahead and end this here and we'll catch back onto this later. Well, here we are. This is the other side. Now this building right here is the Consolidated Rent-A-Car Center. So if you're landing at Burbank Airport and you're going to be renting a car, this is where you would go. If you're landing at Burbank Airport and you're connecting to a train, you come across the street here. I forgot the name of the street. And you come to the station. And there you can connect to other services as well. And away we go. Bye bye, LA and San Fernando. This time for real. And there it is right there with the mountains in the distance. Pretty cool. Bye bye, Burbank. Bye bye. All right, coming up next, there's Jet Aviation. We also have something from JSX Airlines, and I'll show you that in a minute. There goes the plane. One, two, and three. And there's JSX with their Embraer aircraft. Anyways, enough of the airport. It's lunchtime. I had a vegan burger in this lounge and it was super delicious. And now for some photos of the beautiful stunning coastline. We also passed up Space Launch Complex X A 12 because but I don't have that because we gotta move on. Alright, we're in San Luis Obispo now where I got to stretch my arms and legs and uh, have a little look outside. Let's take a look. And 
while we were waiting, the southbound starlight pulled into the station. Which means we're kind of about halfway to San Jose now. And with that said, we're going to go through Cal Poly and uh, climb up the Cuesta Grade next. And here is a little bit of Cal Poly for you right here. It is super beautiful campus right here. And in just a moment, we are going to be passing up some of the athletic complexes, including the soccer fields. I, um, I took a nearly two minute clip of this, but I cannot show it to you because I want to show you the other things up the central coast as well as um, the area in San Jose and most importantly, dinner. And then um, we'll say a very good night and show you guys the, uh, the end of the video that I promised to share with you guys. about halfway between here and Salinas we got to see this this is a bunch of Chevron oil drilling pits and I am so not amused that these are still operating in 2020 we need to do better and switch to electric cars even if this means having to buy a Tesla within the next 20 years and then we have to electrify the train lines too. And it's not long before we pull into Salinas. It's time to eat dinner as we cross through Moss Landing. Dinner tonight will be consisting of the contemporary dining program that is offered on board. Basically the dining car offers these prepackaged meals that are microwaved into your kitchens and they all taste so good. And they had some Pacific Northwest cuisine for this service on this train today as well because this is headed up towards Portland and Seattle. Now I started with the watermelon lime sparkling water and let me tell you it tasted so delicious and yes I lowered my mask only because I was either eating or drinking otherwise masks are still required. Just letting you guys know about that. And now the meal itself. I had an Asian noodle bowl and then also got served with a dinner roll and then you also get a side salad and they also give you dessert and you get to pick the salad dressing. They only had ranch or Italian so I went with Italian dressing and I'm putting that onto the salad. And now let's see how this tastes. Dinner was so delicious and welcome to... Haha, <laughs> -ha, funny. Welcome to Gilroy, the start of the Caltrain network. Let's just continue to San Jose. See you in the next Metrolink coach. On a Caltrain side, Tamian means we are getting very close to San Jose. Welcome to Caltrain. Oh great, meme-tastic. But welcome to San Jose, Deer Don Station. Home of the Spartans, the Earthquakes, and walking distance of SJSU. Home of Up and Up Music Festival. Enough with athletics and events. Um, it's time for bed, actually. Um, you know what? The train host did not make up the bed, so we had to do it ourselves. But anyways, um, myself and my little mask, um, want to wish you a very good night, and I'm guessing we'll see you bright and early in the morning. I awake around midnight to find myself in Fairfield, and it's not long before we, um, come alongside UC Davis. This is a very blurry photo of its campus, only because it was nighttime, and before long, we're in Sacramento. And we are here. It is midnight. I was woken up, and it's kind of like arriving into Railbank, Colorado in the middle of the night, but this is proof that our dining car was actually called Lorelei Gilmore. And I'm guessing with that said, let's just roll term of the week. The term of the week is inspiration. The faculty of action forming new ideas or images or concepts of external objects not present in the senses. See also creativity. Um, I unfortunately got the dining car voice just as I said. So um, if you want to know like how I'm going to get rid of it, you're going to have to wait till next video. Do not put it in the comments. But thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy my new outro. Oh, <laughs>